We also have the introduction of a new steering wheel, which features the touch control buttons. Now on the left-hand side of the wheel, it allows me to control the instrument cluster in front of me, and on the right-hand side, the media screen just here. Now you interact with these with simple swipes up, down, left and right. It's very intuitive, but the benefit is it means I can take full control of these systems without having to take my hands off the wheel. There is also a touchpad down here, which gives control to the media display at the top of the central console. And what's really cool about this touchpad is that it has haptic feedback, which provides a reassuring vibration when you interact with it, so you don't have to take your eyes off the road. On my all digital instrument display, I have the option to choose from three different themes. So if I go into the menu, just like this, scrolling through, go to design, and then I have the choice of progressive, classic, and sport. And in this instance, I'm gonna go for sport. That looks pretty awesome. What we have up here is the 10.25 inch media display. Now, through Command Online, I'm able to control entertainment, navigation, and communication all in one place. And through the use of Linguatronic, I'm even able to control it with my voice. So let's give it a try. Nearest restaurant. The line number, please. And there you go, plenty of nearest restaurants. Speaking of easy, I can connect my phone via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto simply using a USB cable. With the Mercedes Me app, you can check out the status of your car. So you can see things like the total range left in your fuel tank or even if your doors or windows are open. But what's specific to the hybrid is that there is a function called pre-entry climate control, which allows you to pre-condition your car remotely. So if you wanted to cool it down or even heat it up, you can set this via the app before you get in your car.